right, coming up next, it's a lightweight showdown between the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee, and raging Al Iaquinta. With some momentum, here is Raging Al Iaquinta. Unfortunately, a knee injury took away several years of his prime, but he has been given a clean bill of health, and Raging Al is looking to pick up right where he left off. This is a wrestler by trade, but a guy who has outstanding stand-up acumen, and that's been on full display throughout his UFC tenure. All of his pro losses have been by way of submission. So that bears watching tonight. He has been susceptible to the submission on the ground. This guy has nasty arm bars and leg locks. It is his specialty, and if he gets a hold of a limb, you either tap or it snaps. All right, here is the perennial contender, former world title challenger, the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee, riding high after a recent win over Edson Barboza. The question is, can Kevin Lee put it all together here tonight and leave no shadow of a doubt that he and not anyone else is the number one UFC lightweight contender? This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible. Because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, they have the same height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is an mixed martial artist with a professional record of 13 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of one car, New York, raging Al Iaquinta! And now, if you see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Kevin, the Motown Phenom, Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Round one. Well, we have seen an increased fluidity and confidence on the feet out of the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee. And let's see how he chooses to approach the early portions of this fight. Is he going to shoot for the early takedown or lean on the hands that have made so many strides over the last several years? Tags him. All right, so here we go. First round is underway. You know his background as a wrestler, so how early will he shoot and go for that takedown attack? You gotta think going into this matchup, he will want to take this fight to the ground. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. Iaquinta's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. And lands a good shot. Some nice back and forth action here. He's mixing things up really well, too, from the hands to the kicks to switching stances. 
Yeah, and here he goes again. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. It looks like the submission's locked. And he escaped the choke. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he's back up again. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Caught him with a punch. While you're playing with fire there, he left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. He's a, a nice right hand. There's the shot. There's another takedown by Lee. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Front kick to the face. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, he's locked. He's got him right here. Straight right, he misses. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Several in the round and really doing a great job not telegraphing his shot. The opponent doesn't know what's coming and again ends up on his back. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Nice kick to the body, shot into the gut. Horn sounds for the end of round one. you to set those kicks up a little bit better. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a nasty kick to the body. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Brittany Palmer in the building. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Ayakuinta gets caught with that punch, not the... Whoa! Whoa! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got him right here. Oh, nice Both take down. Down. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. How about that chin? Iaquinta's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. And another one. He's in trouble. Big punches here. Well, back to his feet, Joe, but man, is he hurt. Oh! oh! Kick KO for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, that fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And with this particular striker, you are playing with poison if you don't get that guard up. You know these kicks are coming. You know they're coming in bunches. And that was a near-perfect land. Nailed the target. Full extension on the kick. And that's one of the better highlights we've seen here recently inside the octagon. Look at this. Boom. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official decision. Referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Al Quinta. So raging ally Aquinta at his raging best here tonight. When he's healthy and firing on all cylinders as he was here tonight, he looks the part of a guy who could one day vie for the UFC lightweight title. So big performance. Congrats to Ray Longo, Matt Serra, the entire team, and of course the 155-pound contender, Al 